Hi there, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own lightning in your basement using some very simple materials that you can scavenge from an old microwave. So without any further ado, let's begin. So I'm Darren, and I'm your host, and you're watching Darren DIY. And now, without any further ado, grab a drink or something to eat, and I hope you will enjoy. So as you can see, this is my setup here. I here have a microwave oven transformer, also called an MOT for short. You can scavenge this from an old microwave. And here I have a capacitor, and I'll show you how to connect them in just a second. Here I also have a lot of capacitors, because we're going to create a capacitor bank of around 5 microfarads. Although that is not a lot, when you are working with high voltage, it's really a lot. So now let me tell you how I wire these things up together. So as you can see here I have my capacitor. This is actually a high voltage capacitor, and if you look closely onto there, it says 2100 volts AC. And as you can see, 1 microfarad. Here I have 4 others of those, and we are going to connect the capacitors together so that we create a capacitor bank. So now let me show you how I wired these things up together. So as you can see here we have our microwave oven transformer and the, and the 220 volts AC connected up to there to the primary coil. And here onto the secondary, one wire goes to this connection here that there is on the transformer and the other goes to the housing of the transformer or the core and here we have the capacitor which we connect in parallel with the microwave oven transformer outputs so we have our to the core as you can see here one connection and the other connection to this connection here which is the second output of the secondary coil here first I'm going to test this with one capacitor but then I'm going to connect all these capacitors together and after that I'm going to connect all the capacitors together to create a capacitor bank so that we have even more power out of this. So before we connect the capacitor in parallel with the output of the transformer I'm going to show you how the output normally looks on the transformer without the capacitor. So that if you are not familiar with this device or you are not familiar to my channel, you can see how it normally looks. So let's set these things up and let's begin. So first I'm going to discharge the capacitor and as you can see it's already discharged because some old capacitors don't have a bleed resistor inside and they can hold charge which can give you a really painful shock of 2000 volts. So make sure to always discharge the capacitor. So as you can see we have the output here connected to a stick here. Also, if you're not familiar with the high voltage stuff, this is called a chicken stick. When you have a long stick of a non-conducting material such as PVC, connected to one high voltage output. So as you can see here I have the wire connected to this chicken stick, and I'm just going to do some pretty simple arcs. As you can see they are very pretty. So now let's get to the main topic of this video. So first I'm just going to connect one capacitor in parallel with the output of the transformer. So let me just do that. So that's down with the output. So let's see how it sounds. So let's turn this on. And also if you're doing this experiment, make sure to have some pretty decent ventilation. Here I have these windows open. Because this experiment creates ozone, which, which I had experienced and it got dissolved in my eyes and it actually created hypochlorous acid which felt like having someone throwing sand in your eyes and, I, and this happened while I was sleeping so you could imagine the pain that I was suffering so make sure to have pretty decent ventilation so let's just turn this on and see what this does also note the different sound that the transformer makes So now that you saw how it looks with one capacitor, why don't we just connect four more and see how the output will be more intensified. Although we only have four capacitors, 
in our bank, which adds up to around 4 microfarads, it can still pack a really good punch. So let's try this. So I have my chicken stick in my hand and my hand on the switch. So let's do this in 3, 2, 1. So as you can hear, you can hear the transformer buzzing really violently. So let's try these parts. Oh, damn. And I can smell instantly the smell of ozone. Because it can deliver too much power actually, that it's transforming the oxygen into ozone. So yeah, as you can see, that packed a really good punch. I actually was inspired to do this by the King of Random. He made this by using an NST, a neon sign transformer. But that can't really output a lot of power, just around 20 milliamps. But this thing can output a lot of amps actually. And that's why you can get these really badass sparks which really sound like lightning and can make you temporarily deaf. In his video, since he made it using the NST transformer, it wasn't really as good, so I was inspired to make this video for you. But instead of using the NST transformer, which by the way I don't have, I used the microwave oven transformer and some really good capacitors, not the coke bottle capacitors, which can't hold a lot of charge. So yeah, so let's just do this one more time and we'll call it a day. So I have my chicken stick here and my hand on the switch. So let's do this in 3, 2, 1. Holy damn. Now that's power. I tell you, a lot of volts and a lot of amps. So as you saw, that really packed a punch. So if you know anything about this effect, or what is it called, or anything, any just information about this experiment, make sure to tell me down below. And also tell me down below, what do you think of this experiment? Is it crazy enough for me to not even make it? Just tell me down below. And if you like this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, so that you won't miss any videos like this one, or projects that I make, like woodworking projects and other experiments that I make. So I think that that's it for this one, and as always, make sure to stay safe and have fun, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.